Welcome to Capstone IAS Academy. This is MV Dulesh Kumar. I am going to handle Political Science and International Relations optional at this academy. Before going into the exact orientation class of Political Science and International Relations, we should know about what is this Political Science and International Relations optional paper. As you know, in UPSC, there are two papers, paper one and paper two. The paper one of political science and international relations deals with political theory and Indian government and politics. Paper two of international relations, PSIR optional, deals with comparative politics and international relations and India's foreign policy. So first, let's discuss about paper one of PSIR optional. As we know, paper one of PSIR optional consists of two sections. Section A and Section B. Section A deals with political theory. What is this political theory? Political theory deals with the meaning of politics, the various concepts of politics or political decision making, like liberty, equality, justice. So in first section A, we will be reading about what are the various concepts that is there that is required for a very good political decision making. And along with that, you will also be reading the Western political thinkers and Indian political thinkers, what Ambedkar said, what Gandhi said, about these political concepts. So the section A is all about theoretical aspect of politics. And section B of paper one deals with this, how this theoretical concept is being applied in Indian context. So you will be reading about Indian constitution, Indian political system, how Indian constitution works, how the bureaucracy works, how the legislature works, how the executive works, and all other factors work in Indian context. So the section A of paper one deals with political concepts in general, how the political concepts, political decision-making concepts is being understood all over the world and by the Indian thinkers in a theoretical way. And the section B of paper one deals with this applied political concepts, how it has been applied in Indian context. In other words, we'll be reading about Indian political system, Indian constitution and Indian polity and how it works in practice as well as in theory. Okay. This is all about paper one of PSIR. Now let's go to the paper two of PSIR. Paper two of the PSIR, as usual, is being categorized into section A and section B. Section A consists of comparative politics and international relations. So as I already told you in paper one, section A, we read about how the political theoretical concepts are there in this one, how it has been understood. Now, you will see how this concept is being applied all over the world in a comparative perspective. You need not read whole the whole world constitutions. It is not there. It is not there in the syllabus. But you will read in the comparative perspective how these political institutions function in different worlds. And you will also reading about international relations, how a nation relates with another nation. What are the kinds of international organizations they create, like United Nations, World Trade Organization? What are the different kinds of organizations, they, how they react, how they relate with each other? All these things we will be reading in the section A of paper two. The section B of paper two deals with how India deals with the external world. So you'll be reading about India's foreign policy, how the external foreign policy of India has been designed in different circumstances, how it has been designed, and what is in practice, how it is happening, how India is related with the neighbors, how India is related with the US, how India is related with China, what is India's foreign policy with respect to US, China, Russia, and all other nations. All these things you will be reading in the section B of paper two. So holistically, Paper one deals with political theory and Indian context politics, that is political system of India. And paper two deals with comparative politics and international relations and India's relation with the foreign world. So the PSA optional is the overall package, complete political system all over the world, how the world deals its political decision making. 
all over the world how they deal with each other. Everything will be reading in the PSIR option. Right. Now we will go to the orientation part of PSIR. This total section, the orientation class is being divided into two sections. One is, first section is, why should you choose political size as an optional subject? The second subject, the second section is, why should you choose Captain IAS Academy as the academy for political science option? Okay. Now we will go to the orientation part of political science and international relations optional. The first question that we face is, why should one choose political science as an optional subject? The subject matter of PSIR is not new to the students, as at least 30% of the syllabus resembles the subject you read in your school curriculum. This becomes very, very important. Most of us might be coming from science background, medical science background, but you will be having some doubt in your mind, sir, I am coming from a science background. Can I take PSIR as an optional subject? Definitely you can do. The reason is, even though you would have read science in your graduate level, you would have taken medical science, engineering science, but still the subject matter of PSIR resembles what that you have read in schools. At least 30% of it. At least 30% of it. The Indian polity that you are going to read in paper one section A is actually nothing but what you read in your civics. And all of the international relations organization, everything you would have at least touched the UN system, you have touched in the school curriculum. So it's nothing that new you are going to read. So if you have some uh, fear in your mind that whether sir, I am coming from an engineering background, I am coming from medical science background, can you take a PSA? Just erase that. Just erase that. What you are going to read in the PSA are at least 30% of the thing that is that you have read in your schools. You are not going to take something completely new. Something you have never heard before. No. This is what every day you have read it. And see the second point. The subject matter is relatable to our day-to-day -day discourses. Matters that we read in newspapers and visually to other media. And that is also very, very important. Forget the school curriculum. I have lived another seven, eight years, sir. But still, you are, you are, you are with the syllabus. See, every day we speak about democracy. Every election we speak about liberty, equality, all these things we speak. This party is not that, or this party is not this good. All these things we speak. So we are close to this concept what we are going to read in PSIR. All these things we already know. All these things we already read in newspapers. All these things we already discussed in social media and other media platforms. But today, you are going to systematically read it. You are going to systematically understand what is this liberty, what is this equality, what is the Indian constitution, how the Indian nation relates with other nations. Now we are going to systematically read it. That's it. You are not going to read something new, completely new, which you are not used to. And you are kind of a person who reads a lot of newspapers, then PSIR is the option for you. And you are a person who likes current affairs, then again PSIR is an option. Because the most of the questions in PSIR resembles what you have read in newspapers. About the liberty, equality, the international organization, India relationship with Sri Lanka, how India relates with China. It resembles what you read in newspapers. Everyone will have some idea about PSIR. It is not a completely new option. So don't worry, I'm coming from medical science background. So I'm coming from engineering science background. So I have not read political science at all. Can No, it is not like that. This optional PSIR, it is not a subject at all. It's a life, everyday life that you are living in this world. All the terms like liberty, equality, everything that is using it, you are going to read it only those terms again and again today in a systematic manner. You are not going to read it with rocket science. So believe PSA has such an important, easy option in that regard. See the third point. It is one of the popular optional subjects chosen by absence. According to the annual reports published by UPSC in the past five years, PSA are optional subject consistently features the top five among most chosen options. 
the in the website of upsc has this annual reports you can go and check it so it's one of the most popularly chosen popularly chosen all the five years over the past 10 years if you see psi of optional will be among the top five okay see the fourth point among the top five popular subjects success rate of psi of optional is relatively high it holds third position in 2017 according to latest available report online and second position in 2016 there is a myth generally people used to say with more number of person take an optional subject then there cannot be a scoring subject psir has broken that myth it has broken that myth so psir i would say it has a very high success rate if you read the annual reports published by upsc for 2017 16 15 you can find that the success rate of psir will hover somewhere around 9 to 10% consistently consistently and among the popular subjects you see third position in 2017 and second position in 2016 probably in 2018 19 and 20 report have been published it might have got the first position so again it shows that psi optional is one of the easiest optional and also has a high success rate see this is point there is overlapping of syllabus of psi the general studies syllabus for preliminary examination at least 25% of gs prelims syllabus is akin with the psi optional syllabus this is very very important guys generally we will speak about the overlapping of syllabus of an optional subject with gs mains but it is equally important how much your optional subject has a equal normal overlapping syllabus with your gs prelims you know why you are preparing in june july so you are going to prepare june july and the optional class will run till october november at this time right only after that say starting from october or november you will start preparing starting your preparation for gs preliminary examination which will come on may next year consider you have not read anything in your optional which is akin with the gs syllabus of your prelims then that means that October or November this year, you are going to start preparation afresh. That will be relatively very very tougher. But PSI are optional. When you choose PSI are optional, at least twenty five percent of the GS syllabus you already would have covered before October. And only the remaining seventy five percent of the GS preliminary examination syllabus you are going to cover from October. so half of the work is at least quarter of the work is already done so it aids your success rate in preliminary examination because our first hurdle is to cross the preliminary examination only if we cross the preliminary examination then the second hurdle of main examination comes so i prepared heavily a complicated subject is an optional subject till october november december so then i start preparation of my uh, preliminary examination but i couldn't get to that will not happen with psir yeah. because once you do psir or optional from june to october or november automatically 25% of the gs preliminary is already over the current affairs part the national international current affairs part is already over indian polity part is already over and little bit of political development the post consolidation that is already over everything is already over you are already you are already studied everything there i understood only the remaining 75% that you are going to read after that so this is an advantage see the sixth point at least 50% of the syllabus of general studies is directly from psir now i am speaking about the mains examination in other words 625 marks out of 1250 marks in gs mains examination including the essay is related to psir syllabus this is again very very important gs paper 2 is directly psir political science directly political science so 250 marks gs paper 2 is directly political science then remaining the remaining full 250 marks from the paper 1 and paper 2 the women empowerment and other aspects is paper 1 secularism other aspects all this overlaps with the syllabus of psir and consider essay essay part See, in generally, in essay part, you will be asked to write two essays, 
and the section bsc is directly from bsar at least out of the four optional two optional will be a political science and international relations option and essay so once you read this political science and international relations and optional subject your essay marks will be very high even the section a of essay not always they give something extremely philosophical they give some philosophical questions to be with but still you can answer that easily if you know the philosophical concepts of liberty equality that you are going to read in psa option so i would put it if you read psa optional then even 250 marks of essay you have that in the hand generally say they say in gs and essay combinedly if you get somewhere in 550 marks you are into the service see how much marks we have 625 marks from psa are optional so automatically it shows the chance of getting through is very high if you select the psa correct the seventh point the nature of the questions is repeatability and correlation with current affairs again this is very very important see when we analyze the question paper we will see in the next section we found that generally in psi the question repeats in itself for example political theory nature and significance of political theory empirical for the same question would have come at least for 3 4 years continuous but this is just only fourth page answer so if you know exactly what is going to come if you know the, the question maybe the words in the question will differ but the same answer you are going to write high repeatability high repeatability factor in questions and the nature of the questions as i already told you will relate with the current affairs which you have read in the newspapers you understood so that will be extremely easy say you don't go into the examination and see say i everything was everything was out of syllabus such a scenario will not come with psir it will not come with psir definitely whatever it is there i show it in the uh, syllabus analysis the question paper analysis in a few minutes no question has come from out of syllabus so the predictability factor of psir examination is very high we can easily predict what question will come and definitely there will not be any out of syllabus questions that it has shown the previous question papers have shown definitely there is no out of out of syllabus questions at all and hence that becomes one of the easier thing to do so you know exactly what is going to come so that you can prepare well you can write well and score high marks okay point number 8 good knowledge about the current national and international events and the nature of underlying processes behind those events would mold your personality in right directions towards the interview stage isn't that important at the end of the day you have to get selected then interview marks are extremely important and reading psir as an optional subject will aid you in that regard okay now let's go to another important question why should one choose capstone ias academy for political science now i have decided i'm going to join political science like why then capstone see the first point the credentials of the faculty and the team of mentors i am with you reshma i'm going to handle this subject for you and i have immense experience at least a decade of experience in mentoring civil service aspects at the same time i am a phd in political science and i have 7 to 8 years of experience in academic circles i have submitted a lot of articles in international reference journals and the most the prestigious journal indian journal of political science in india i have two articles in it so the students who are going to read under me will have a blend of experience both an academic experience as well as a teacher who has immense experience in civil service mentor so i can give you an immense clarity of concepts in political science as well as i know exactly what will come for the exam so that we can predict we will see that in the next part how we have scientifically designed see the next part okay so this is one of the important factor that you get in capstone ias academy and the team of mentors that we have lot of ias officers ia ips officers led by our own santosh babu ias so you will be continuously mentored okay point number 2 scientifically designed class lectures 
previous year question paper of psi and optionals have been analyzed and based on the current trend the weightage of class hours have been decided in other words every minute of the lecture is made valuable and accountable how is that see that this is the kind of analysis that we have done so the total section a is being segregated into 32 small micro topics 32 small micro topics and we have analyzed each topic how many questions have come in the previous 10 years see there is no out of syllabus only two questions have come from out of syllabus three questions have come out of the past 10 years and even that out of syllabus question one question is from liberty that you will actually read with equality because the syllabus also says a little bit of liberty so technically speaking you don't have any out of syllabus question so having analyzed every paper like this, so every paper, see this is paper one section B. Again, 16 micro topics and every topic, how many questions have come? We have analyzed. Similarly for paper two, we have analyzed. Similarly for paper three, we have analyzed. So paper two section B, we have analyzed. Understood? Based on this analysis, you can see, see in the first part, Foreign policy, 20 questions have come for the past 10 years. It means that at least two questions on average come every year. And most of the questions repeat. That's one of the advantages that we have in PSI option. So based on that, we are going to decide, design our class hours. How much weightage has to be given to which topic. And sometimes the faculty might take, the, he might be comfortable in Marxism. Uh, liberalism. So he might take Marxism, liberalism, three classes and four classes, and he will take other aspects lesser. But it will not be the case in Capstone and AS Academy. We have scientifically designed the class of us based on the analysis of the past 10 years of previous equation. Right? Past 10 years we analyze. So every topic has its own weightage. Marxism, only five questions have come in the past 10 years. So the weightage will be relatively so it, I won't say it will be less, relatively less. Okay. Based on that, we have designed. So it is not that what I am comfortable with or what you are comfortable with, but it is about what this UPSC is comfortable with. What is the trend says? Based on that, our class hours or weightage will be given. Based on that, our discussion will be there. So once you join this academy, you can be assured that Every minute you are going towards getting high scores in the examination. Right? The next point scientifically designed class notes. Two days before every class starts, class notes, you will get the class notes, and the class notes will be scientifically designed in the manner in which all the aspects of the particular topic will be covered. All the aspects will be covered. You need not read any other notes or books so in such a way that notes will be covered. covered. Okay, it will be created. Right. The next point: systematically designed periodic tests. I've already told you there is a lot of predictability factor in PSIR, so we can easily predict. So based on this prediction, we will keep systematically a lot of tests. We will test it. And once you write continuously, you're writing the same test again and again and again and again. Once the question paper, the same question, definitely, because you'll be predicting it. The same question comes in the exam paper. You will not be astonished. Immediately, you'll write it. So systematically design periodic tests. And the last thing is continuous mentoring. It's not that you join this course in five months' time after October, after the course is over, our relationship cut off more. There will be a continuous mentoring till you succeed, till you clear your full service examination. Hope all of you liked the video and I believe that I have cleared most of your doubts regarding PSIR optional. Thank you.